Lord, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, as we are in the presence of our Saviour Jesus, let us thank Him, praise Him and adore Him for all that He has been to us, especially for having blessed us with the gift of this life. In and through this gift of life, we are able to experience all other gifts of our Lord's. So today, as we have blessed with the gift of life, we pray for all those who are not able to see this day for those of our brothers and sisters who have died and gone. We ask the Lord to have mercy upon them and grant them eternal life. Lord Jesus, we thank you, we praise you and we adore you for having given us a restful sleep, for protecting us from all the evils, from all the harm and danger. We thank you, Jesus, for our families, for our children, for our husbands, for our wives. We thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. We adore you and we love you, Jesus. Jesus, as we come before you today, we pray in a special way for our brothers and sisters who are facing storms in their lives. The storms of various kinds, the storms of health, the storms of finance, the storms of good health and various kinds of storms that our brothers and sisters are undergoing. Today as we are in the presence of our Savior Jesus, let us pray that the Lord in and through our prayer may calm the storms of our brothers and sisters and help them to face the storms and overcome them in and through our Savior Jesus. Lord Jesus, we thank you, we praise you, and we adore you for having blessed us abundantly. And as we are in your presence, we seek your guidance, we seek your touch, so that all that we do today, may all that we speak, think, say, do, may everything we reflect your love, your care and concern of which all that we are experiencing at this right moment, we may be able to deliver the same love, concern that you give us, we may in turn give it to our brothers and sisters. Let us surrender ourselves totally, completely and fully into the loving hands of our Jesus as we praise and worship him in this beautiful hymn. Praise him, praise him, praise him in the morning, praise him in the noontime, praise him, praise him, praise him when the sun goes down. Love him, love him, love him in the morning, love him in the noontime. Love him, love him, love him when the sun goes down. Serve him, serve him. Serve him in the morning, serve him in the noontime. Serve him, serve him, serve him when the sun goes down. Let us spend these few moments in silence, listening to our Savior, Jesus, who has come to bless us and comfort us and strengthen us. Let us, then my dear brothers and sisters, open our hearts, minds and welcome our Saviour 
into our very own lives. My dear brothers and sisters, the words of our Savior Jesus are wisdom. And Jesus says all those who listen and obey and do according to his words will never ever walk in darkness. They are the words of eternal life as said by Saint Peter. So my dear brothers and sisters, as we are going to listen to the words of wisdom, the words of our Savior Jesus, let us then prepare ourselves to listen worthily to the words of our Savior Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark chapter 4 verses 35 to 40. Jesus comes the storm. On that same day when the evening had come, Jesus said to them, Let us go across to the other side. So they left the crowd and took him away in the boat he had been sitting in, and other boats set out with him. Then a storm gathered, and a storm wind began to blow. The wave spilled over into the boat so that it was already filling up with water. And Jesus was in the stern asleep on a cushion. They woke him up and said to him, Master, you would not care if we drown? As Jesus awoke, he rebuked the wind and ordered the sea, Quiet now, be still. The wind dropped and there was a great calm. Then Jesus said to them, Why are you so frightened? Do you still have no faith? But they were terrified, and they said to one another, Who can this be? Even the wind and the sea obey him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, today we are praying for our brothers and sisters who are facing the storms in their life. The biggest fear in our life that we face is that we fail to realize that God is with us. And when we do not realize this, we often and every time are frightened. No matter how big or small the incident may be. The very fact we realize that our Lord is not with us. We will be always frightened. Remember Angel Gabriel telling Mary, our loving mother, that you should name the Son, Emmanuel, meaning God with us. And this is what we need to remember, realize that God is not somewhere outside of us, but He is within us and with us. And therefore, we need to trust that our Lord will take care of us no matter how big is the storm, it can never ever be bigger than our God. This is what the disciples failed to realize. But then God, but then Jesus 
woke up from his sleep. He ordered the winds to be quiet and still. But then he questioned the disciples, Why do you have no faith? And this question Jesus is asking today for our brothers and sisters who are facing these storms and are thinking that Lord is not bothered about them or Lord has left them alone. No, my dear brothers and sisters, Lord has not left us alone or He has not let us down. He is with us. He is with us. This is His promise. And He will never ever go back on His word. So today, our Savior Jesus, in and through this blessed sacrament, is looking at each one of us and telling, My dear brother, my dear sister, I am with you. For I have promised to be with you. And I will never ever leave you. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us live our lives in this realization that our Lord is with us. And let us rise up to face all the obstacles, all the challenges. And look at the problems and tell the problems that our God is bigger than the problems that we face. So my dear brothers and sisters, as we are in the presence of our Creator, the one who loves us, let us spend a few moments looking at Him and deriving the strength and recharging ourselves so that today we go out with the strength and courage of our Lord and face all our difficulties and conquer them. Let us ask Mary, a loving mother, to be with us, to be our strength, so that we face and be victorious in our daily lives. Let us recite the great Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. As we are praying for our brothers and sisters who are facing storms in their lives, let us recite this powerful and healing prayer for our brothers and sisters who are facing storms in their life. Let us pray that in and through our prayers that they may be strengthened to face the storms and always realize and believe that the Lord is always with them. Let us pray. Father of the seen and unseen, of unity and diversity, of peace in the midst of storms and trials, and of every circumstance in this life, let thy mighty hand prevail. God of peace, calm the troubled waters and help us to trust you as the halsman in the boat, even when you appear to be asleep. Let this storm pass over, Lord. May the scrubbing clouds rain blessings on the whole of creation. May the morning sun fall like a gentle clock over all creation. Help us to renew our lives, Lord, so that we are able to respond from the deepest recesses of our being to your love and face every storm with your courage, with your strength. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us once again bring all our brothers and sisters who are facing storms in their life. Let us bring them before the Lord as we recite this powerful prayer. Our Savior taught us, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us continue to praise and worship the Lord for all the good and the mighty things He has done in our lives. Let us spend a few moments in praising, worshiping and adoring the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus, for your grace, for your strength which you give us through your sacrament, through your presence. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We praise and adore you, Jesus. For your strength enables us to face the difficulties. For your strength enables us to walk with our head held high. Lord Jesus, we thank you. We praise you and we adore and we worship you. We pray for our brothers and sisters who are caught up in their storms. Lord, in and through our prayers, we ask you to look kindly upon our brothers and sisters and give them the grace and strength and courage so that they may rise up to praise and worship and face the difficulties. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Adore you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Adore you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, our Master and Savior, thank you for your love, for your courage and strength which you give us to face the difficulties as you face the difficulties. Help us with the grace and strength derived from you. May we in turn, with your grace and strength, may uplift our brothers and sisters who are caught up in their storms. Give us the grace, give us the strength that we may go out into the world and uplift our brothers and sisters. Mary, our loving mother, continue to intercede for us so that in and through your intercession we may be strengthened to do what your Son wants us to do. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Let us once again give a deep bow as a reference and love and respect for our Savior Jesus Christ. Let us now prepare ourselves to receive God's blessings. Let us bow our heads as we sing the hymn of benediction. Let us bow in adoration to this Blessed be God, blessed be His holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus. 
Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit of Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Amen.